Okay, donc uh, we are here in Perpignan, in south of France, and donc, uh, for a specific uh, tasting competition, a world tasting competition about uh, one variety, it's about Grenache, and it's very interesting. We have a lot of wine from uh, seven different countries, from uh, Brazil, Australia, France, Italy, Spain, uh, USA, and so on. It's very important for us to compare different uh, type of uh, Grenache, Garnacha, Canonao in Italian, donc, uh, from different regions all over the world. And to see uh, what are the expression of uh, this variety all over the world. For this first edition, we are in Perpignan, like in the Russian region, and uh, we have uh, a lot of expression of Renage in steel wine, uh, in white, in rosé, or in the red, but we've got two uh, specificity. It's Vandu Naturel. It's a very sweet product with more than 100 grams per liter of uh, sugar, and very specific expression of what is the Grenache in sweet wine. It's very, very impressive, and uh, it, uh, you, you you have a specificity in the aroma, okay. it's, it's very rounded, it's very fresh in the uh, intensity of the wine and uh, I think uh, a lot of people like this kind of expression. Uh, my name is Stephen Brook, uh, I write mostly for the magazine Decanter in, uh, based in England. Uh, I've also written about 15 books on wine, mostly Bordeaux and California, but other topics as well. I think it's very interesting because um, Grenache is, is um, not as well known as it should be because it's usually blended into wine clubs such as Chateau du Pap, which always has some Grenache, but it's rarely 100% Grenache. So it's, it's a great variety that people are not that familiar with. It makes wonderful wines that deserve to be better known, and it's also planted in many different parts of the world, especially France and Spain, but also in parts of the New World. So I think it's fascinating to have this kind of competition. But what makes it quite difficult is that there are many different styles. You can have sweet wines, you can have dry wines, you can have fresh rosé wines, you can also have very powerful oaky red wines with a lot of alcohol. So it's very difficult to have uh, to say, this is what Grenache is. There's only one kind of Grenache. There are many different kinds of Grenache. So I think that is part of the problem. Um, but that doesn't mean that they shouldn't uh, have an event of this kind and publicize the variety much more than has been done in the past. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Um, I mean, there have been attempts to promote Grenache over the last few years, I think with some success, because the, uh, it's a very appealing uh, grape variety. It has lovely aromas of uh, raspberries and strawberries and cherries. And at the same time, it has a lot of structure and power. Um, and as I said earlier, it comes in many different styles, so that people who like uh, sweet, delicate wines can find Grenache in this style. And people who want more powerful wines, like the Chateau Neuf du Pape, can also find those wines. So there's a lot of potential for the grape. And one other factor is in many parts of the world, in Spain especially, but also in Australia, they're very, very old vineyards, sometimes 100 years old, where they produce naturally very concentrated wines, which are of great interest.